It is a common concern and for good reason. Diabetes can mess with your body in all sort of ways and sweating is definitely one of them. But before you jump to conclusions, let's unravel the truth behind this sweaty mystery. Think of sweat as your body's beat in air conditioning. When things heat up, our sweat glands kick in, producing a gooey liquid that evaporates and cools us down, keeping us comfortable during a workout or on a hot summer day. Now here is where diabetes comes in. This chronic condition throws your body sugar levels out of whack and that can mess with your sweat glands too. In some cases, it can lead to excessive sweating even when you are not exerting yourself. There are two main reasons why diabetes might make you sweat like a marathon runner in a sauna. First one is blood sugar roller coaster. When your blood sugar dips too low, your body goes into a panic mood. It releases adrenaline, a hormone that triggers sweating as part of the fight or fight response. Nerve damage. Diabetes can damage the nerves that control your sweat glands. This can lead to unpredictable sweating even at rest or during sleep. It is important to remember that excessive sweating is not always a diabetes red flag. Plenty of other things can make you poor like leaky faucet, exercise, anxiety, hot weather, spicy food, even certain medications. Here is the key. Context matters. If you are suddenly experiencing unexplained and excessive sweating, especially at night or when you are not active, it is worth talking to your doctor. They can help rule out the causes and if it is diabetes related, get you on the right track to managing your condition. Now let's talk food. What you eat can actually play a role in managing your diabetes and potentially reducing excessive sweating. Focus on a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables and whole grains. These foods help regulate blood sugar which can keep those sweat glands in check. Living with diabetes can be challenging, but you are not on your own. There is a whole community of people out there who understand what you are going through. Reach out for support, learn from others and remember you have got this. So is excessive setting a sign of diabetes? It can be, but it is not always the case. If you are concerned, talk to your doctor and remember managing your diabetes through diet, exercise and medication can help keep you cool and comfortable both inside and out. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a beat. Until next time, stay healthy. Stay informed. Bye-bye.